It was a beautiful Saturday morning in March of 2014 where, across from Chedi and McGilvery Streets, the members of the Lions Club of San Fernando were about to fill their hall for the annual Lenten breakfast. Arriving to share in the celebration, which commemorated International Women's Day, was a former council chairman and member of District 60, Minister of Gender, Youth and Child Development, the Honourable Clifton Decoteau. After starting the day with a national anthem and inspirational song and prayer, past Council President Lion Allison Sloan Seal introduced the special guest who began by sharing information from UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon on the benefits accrued in societies where there is greater gender parity. Countries with more gender equality have better economic growth. Companies with more women leaders perform better. Peace agreements that include women are more durable. Parliaments with more women enact more legislation on key social issues such as health, education, anti-discrimination, and child support. We just came from the world's greatest festival. And bands with more female masqueraders lead to a better and more peaceful carnival. The Lions heard that here in Trinidad and Tobago, one of the goals of the government is increased gender equity. We believe it is our duty as a governing body and as individual citizens to pursue and facilitate the continued and sustained progress of each person, male or female. We are very gender sensitive in our plans and continue to increase awareness and advance the progress of girls and women in society. Minister went on to list organizations which provide opportunities for women to participate in decision-making. The network of NGOs for the advancement of women act as an advocate and support for all women's organizations. The Trinidad and Tobago Federation of Women's Institute contributes towards the development of national policies and the network of rural women producers provides access to credit for micro-business projects. Providing skills training through the Women in Harmony program and Women in Non-Traditional Skills training program. Women learn technical and vocational skills which enable them to enjoy better employment options. The Lions Club itself provided an excellent example of how the inclusion of women benefits organizations. Minister Dakota recognized the achievements of a past council president, Alison Sloan Seal, who, he said, broke the glass ceiling in her district. She was the first Lioness district president, the first Lioness to serve as a moderator at a forum at the International Convention. And when you consider one point something million, it wasn't so much in those days, and you were chosen as someone from a third world country to be in charge of a forum, it means to say they recognize your ability. After the full integration, Lance Sloan Seal was the first female land to serve as district governor and council chairman of Trinidad and Tobago. And for those of you who don't know, District 68 still comprises of Suriname, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago. And she served as the district governor and then the council chairman in charge of the whole Caribbean. Put your hands again. And the first person as well to serve three times as the club president Lance Lonesley's, you have clearly demonstrated that woman is boss. In closing, government's goals for the women of the country were shared. We want our ladies to be safe and secure from gender-based violence, has human rights that are respected, including reproductive rights, is empowered economically in every day, in every way through education, Equal opportunity, participation, and leadership. Again, congratulations to all the women of the Lions Club for your contributions to community work and to fellow Lions, the male, for your support to these women. And I'm assured that the Lions Club of San Fernando will continue to transform and enrich lives in the coming years. I know that men and women will continue to serve mankind side by side with respect and integrity. 
I thank you and may you continue to serve with energy, vitality, and with the grace of God. I thank you. May God bless us all. With the formalities behind them, the Lions celebrated one another with flowers, door prizes, and camaraderie.